Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSGO News. Kind of a unique episode because there's not too much CSGO News out there, but I know a lot of you guys who have played CSGO and Counter-Strike in the past have also played the very popular game Half-Life 1 or 2, and we actually had a script writer of that, Mark Laidlaw, on screen for all of you, released a very important article a couple days ago, which I do want to talk about very shortly here, potentially the storyline for Half-Life 3. Now again, we see this rumor all the time, people saying Half-Life 3 coming sometime soon. It probably most likely will never come in the future, and this is actually very big news as well because a guy who actually formed formerly worked for Valve, did release that, that being Mark Laidlaw. I'll link the article down below for all of you. It was titled Epistle 3, so it seems Half-Life 3 will now never come out. Kind of a closure statement here, trying to get some closure for all the fans of Half-Life out there. This could be the potential storyline. Some names were actually misplaced, but hope you guys can read that down below. It also does mean a whole new Valve team has opened up. That means they're no longer going to dedicate, or we at least think they're no longer going to actually have to put a team on Half-Life, which hopefully means more team dedicated to CSGO, but also on top of that, we're really not sure. He did leave Valve, the writer of this article. He left Riot and Valve a, a while ago, and so it seems Half-Life 3 will never fully come out. We're not sure if he did this out of spite, though. Maybe Gabe Newell pissed him off a little bit. That's why it's kind of connected to CSGO, but if you guys are Half-Life fans, please read the article down below. A very cool narrative there for potential Half-Life 3, which will most likely never come out. But now into CSGO news, the actual part of the video here you guys probably care about. We had a big CSGO YouTuber out there, and that is the man himself known as Bunnyhop or Bhop on YouTube. I'll actually link his channel down below. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to hate on this guy, and I do agree. It's not what he does is not necessarily morally correct. When you ever cheat in CSGO, of course people are going to hate on you, but his content actually is pretty funny. It is actually quality content. I know a lot of you guys probably would agree with that as well. Tens and thousands of people have actually watched this guy, and he's been publicly cheating for nearly a year now in CSGO, and I think the real overall question here, the real overall problem is where is backband system for Valve? Where is it at right now, and why has it not caught this guy before? Because allegedly, Bhop actually posted this video a couple days ago where Valve went through and manually banned all of his accounts because the backband system couldn't catch him. Now again, I know a lot of you guys actually on that video, you guys had some nasty comments about him, and I do agree with that kind of thing. But still, after that video was posted, we really realized the full question here is this. If the VACBAN system currently in place can't catch this guy, who for at least a year now has been making videos about all the several types of hacks he's been using, all of them should be activated or detected by the VACBAN system, and he still has yet to be caught unless Valve comes in manually to detect that, who else out there who can actually pay for higher end cheats or maybe even pro players out there who else can also cheat and also not get caught by the system and that's the big overall struggle here is as to why the backband system is this terrible where you have to actually go in manually to backband this guy and overwatch ban him by yourself because your system is not good enough to do it so actually across all of his accounts he was banned he lost an account with a dragon lore and a nice tiger tooth bayonet there as well other hundred dollars of skins he only lost that he actually said in the future though Hop himself has said this he will be back sometime soon he'll continue to make cheating videos on YouTube, so I'm very curious to see if Valve's going to try and pursue him even further and actually try and ban every account he does use. He'll have to be smart about it, but he's been smart for the past year, and Valve has yet to catch this guy without the help of, you know, all of us watching it. So, let me know what you guys think about that. Do you agree with them cheating? I think it makes quality content. Of course, it is kind of wrong in a sense, but it actually is a great thing to see. Hopefully, the VACBAN system improves because of it. And in this next story, we quite possibly have one of the most unlucky CSGO players of all time, that being former Liquid Hiko and now Hiko on Team Rogue. Team Rogue struggling to find a five-man roster as they can participate in the North American side of ESO Pro League. Definitely one of the, the lesser teams in that side of things right now because of recent events as well. If you guys have not heard about, a long time ago we had NRG steal away the Bulgarian opera Cirk from that roster. They went to their second pick. That was Wardell, formerly of Ghost Gaming. Now the situation with Wardell though broke a few days ago on HLTV. If you guys have not heard about this, I'll give you a quick breakdown of this. Of course, another opera there hit their second choice for Team Rogue and apparently he left Ghost Gaming initially because of internal issues there and then apparently right when ESO Pro League started. He went back to Ghost Gaming after joining up with Team Rogue. Allegedly, according to his interview, though, he, he had internal issues. He wanted to go back and resolve them. And yes, Team Rogue knew about these issues, but that leaves Team Rogue in a really stubborn spot here because apparently they now go not for their second choice, not for their first choice, but their third choice opera that will be former Selfless and Complexity member Uber on that roster. And we have seen the struggles continue here for Team Rogue, not only chemistry wise, because of course the team is, you know, having a new fifth member every single week now, but just morale wise, starting out so poorly in ESL. So Pro League and Hiko having a really unlucky time there for the new Team Rogue, the new North American lineup. We're going to see what they do in the future, guys. But yes, they now are on their third string ringer. That is former self as a complexity Uber. And we're going to see how they do the rest of the year, uh, at least the rest of the season here. But again, one of the most unlucky CSGO situations I've ever seen. I don't think it's morally correct. But at the same time, apparently Team Rogue did know about this. They lost Cirque. They lost Wardell. And now it's up to Uber and Team Rogue to see what they can do. And the over congestion to CSGO has returned. We obviously have our, our, our August break almost done, this being late August. 
August, we have DreamHack Malmo coming up, DreamHack Montreal qualifiers. Alongside that, we also have the E-League European closed qualifiers, other qualifiers going on as well for several tournaments. It seems the tournament hype is now back up. Probably a good thing for the CSGO scene. Unfortunate though for many teams out there who've been trying to quali qualify for E-League, they actually cannot qualify for DreamHack Montreal. We've had several upsets alongside E-League as well. Penta being one of them, but also very noticeable alongside that. We have Penta playing with a current stand-in member known as Tenski. I'm sure you guys know his name alongside Stark on that roster. So it seems that Penta is no longer playing with HS and that can pretty much confirm that yes, Optic Gaming might have actually con contracted out HS and finally have him on his way to North America sometime soon. So for all you Optic fans out there, it seems Penta HS is on his way. And that's going to do it for today's episode of CSK News. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a comment down below. I'm going to try and reply to a couple of comments as well as thank you guys for watching this episode or this week's of episodes. I don't know. I, I'm really tired. Okay, I'm going to go. Uh, live, love, laugh, lot. I'll see you guys all tomorrow in a couple days. More CSK News and more live streams as well. Thank you all for the great support, guys. I do appreciate it. And uh, thank you for being here. I'm going to go.